going. Get these other two people. <clears throat> uh, hello, my name is Robert Hollis. I hope you guys are having a wonderful and blessed day. Uh, I'm going to get right to the point. Uh, I got involved in this company, as some of you know, five years and four months ago, and it was because of the leadership and and the uh, incredible brilliance of uh, Josh Wagor, our CEO and founder. And so I did a leadership call with some of you uh, uh, yesterday, and uh, Josh wanted to come on and share his heart with you and and everything. And so, Mr. Zwagel, are you there? Hey, Robert, I'm here. Can you hear me okay? I sure can. Awesome. Well, um, first off, uh, I just want to thank you for uh, inviting me onto the call. And I want to just say a huge kudos and congratulations to all of you guys. Nigeria has done more volume in the last you know, 60 days than we've done in the last three years being in Nigeria. So we couldn't be more excited about the potential. We couldn't be more excited about where things are are headed in Nigeria. And what we're doing now as a company is, you know, we're working to to ramp things up in that market to better support you guys. That's kind of the way it works in, you know, in network marketing and in our model. It's like we wait for we wait for there to be demand in a market to be able to then scale the market and invest in the market. Um, you know, sometimes you invest in markets, you know, if there's no momentum there, you know, you wind up, uh, you know, wasting a bunch of time and money supporting a market where there's no people. But certainly there are people in Nigeria and there are a lot of excited people uh, in the market. And, you know, what's what's interesting is. It, you know, it's kind of weird because my first network marketing company, which, you know, Chris Bailey, who's on the line, he was a part of, we had the fuel treatment and Africa was the biggest market by far uh, in the company. I mean, I had a team of 40,000 people in Africa, and that was during a time where gas prices, fuel prices weren't as high as they are now. I know the fuel prices just tripled uh, in, in Nigeria. And so, you know, uh, Nigeria, Ghana, West Africa, e even South Africa were huge markets for us with the fuel treatment. We we realized that the fuel treatment works better in Africa than it does in the United States because the fuel quality is, um, you know, not as good in Africa. And so the, pr the, the product cleans the engines out much better and um, it leads to um, amazing results. So we are, again, as a company, super excited about Nigeria and the potential of selling FFX and some of our other products, too. I think, you know, we have a digital product with Akashics that could just be amazing in Africa for for Forex and, and crypto trading. I got Robert, you know, addicted to it. Um, I'm sure he's probably shared some of that with you, but I'll just walk you guys through a couple things we're doing as a company to support you guys and what we're lo what, what we're looking at, what we're you know, what kind of our plans are. Um, and then I know Robert is is even potentially considering doing a major trip out there and, um, you know, doing events with you guys, getting the ground game going. I mean, look, if Robert Hollis was coming out to my market, I would put, I'd put 2,500 people in front of this dude. This guy is going to close the whole room out. And when he told me today that he was considering booking a flight out there to Nigeria, I was like, dude, your team is going to go crazy if you are are doing a trip um, out there. But anyway, I'll leave that to him for what that looks like. Um, so I'll share a couple things. Um, so right now, we have an amazing lady there in Nigeria. Her name's Ada. We have two additional staff members there that support Ada. And um, one of the challenges that we're, we're running into is, you know, people in Nigeria have the ability to deposit money into the Nigerian bank account that we have there, but it is a very manual process. You know, uh, you got to go to the bank, you got to deposit, got to get your receipt, then you got to come to the office, then you have to show it to the staff, then they have to verify it, then they have to get the ID number, then they have to put funds in the credit wallet, then, you know, there's an order that has to, you know, take place. And so that's an extremely manual process. So we've noticed that a lot of leaders are starting to use crypto for paying like USDT and, and Bitcoin. And those orders get processed almost instantly. 
Um, so that's a it's it's good that we have that as an option where you know people can use alternative you know payment options because sometimes the um, local bank you know deposit isn't always ideal for for you know like streamlining you know orders. It's also a little bit more challenging to pull money out of Nigeria back to the United States. So I like having you know crypto as an option for people to pay, and there's also Skrill, which is a great option as well. Um, but one of the things that we're doing is we're talking to our bank there in Nigeria about doing an API connection so that people can pay online and it would API, you know, you would connect basically your, your bank account and it would be an online transfer versus having to physically go into the bank and make a deposit or, you know, just the whole manual process. So we, we got the API documentation the other day from our bank. And um, we're taking a look at that to see how fast we can integrate, which would definitely speed things up because um, that's one of the biggest bottlenecks right now is there's a lag time in from the time people deposit into the bank to getting their order um, processed. So we're very excited about getting that API going. We also have another payment platform set up called iPay, iPay Africa. It's currently live. Um, but we're talking to them to see what payment options they have available for Nigeria. I know they service, you know, like people in Kenya right now are using that to pay in. And so we're talking to them to see what payment options they have specifically for um, for Nigeria. We're also training our two additional staff members there how to use our admin system, you know, because right now Ada is really the only person there that knows how to use the admin system um, so we're training our our two additional staff there, which will help speed things up with credit wallet transfers, processing orders, you know, and things like that. So we're really excited about getting that going. And then, you know, we're also taking a look at what it would take to set up a third party logistics warehouse there in Nigeria to get orders out, you know, faster and then be able to offer door to door shipping instead of just will call. Um, out of the office. So we have a few uh, few options and few companies that we're talking to for 3PL Logistics and, and setting up a warehouse there. And um, all I would say, guys, is, I mean, look, you guys are pioneering a market with a super hot product, super hot deal. And um, it's, it's, it's really brand new for us. Even though we've been in Nigeria for some time, we haven't had, you know, a ton of momentum in Nigeria yet until now. So now that there's demand, there's people, there's momentum, we can see the orders. We just shipped another um, uh, shipment of FFX to Nigeria to stay ahead of the momentum. It should arrive tonight or tomorrow uh, in Nigeria, then it has to clear customs. So we're doing everything we can as a company to, you know, to scale and to be ready for growth there. I see, um, I mean, if we do anything like we did in our last deal with the field treatment, we should have 50,000, 100,000 plus people throughout Africa. So um, I know the potential. I've, you know, traveled to Nigeria. I've traveled to Ghana. I've traveled to South Africa. I've sold this exact product in all of those markets. I know exactly what, what it can do in everybody's engines. I know what it can do in everybody's generators and their houses because most, most homes there are powered by generators. Um, all of the the motorcycles, the over the road cars and trucks, like this is a home run product for Africa. We called it in Africa liquid gold is what we called it when we were building over there. I mean, it's like you, you use this product, it's going to save you more money than it costs to use it. And it's a necessity. It's not like some people want to lose weight and some people don't or some people want to look better or feel better or look younger and some people don't like Everybody that drives uses fuel unless you have an electric car, right? So this is a it's it's based on a commodity that's a necessity for transportation from getting from point A to point B. So you know, this is like one of the best and hottest products in all of network marketing. And even though we had a big run there in Africa, it was it was during a time where fuel prices were high and then fuel prices came down. The economy was doing great, but we're back where we started. I mean, fuel prices are doubling and tripling in a lot of locations and um, there couldn't be a better time than now 
to um, get excited about this product and just start pushing. So all I would say, guys, is look, it's a brand new market for us. Even though we've been there, give us some time, have a little patience. We're doing everything we can to ramp up to like, we know it's not perfect yet. It'll never be perfect in the beginning because again, there's been more volume in the last couple of months than in the last three years out of, out of the blue. One of you guys showed up and just went to, went to town, um, you know, building, which is great. That's what we love. That's what we want. That's what we want to see. But now we need to do what we've got to do to get things ramped up and um, just get the market going over there. And if, like I said at the beginning, like if Robert's willing to go over there to do an event and if I was in Robert's team and I lived over there, I would fill that room like you wouldn't even believe like I'd have buses of people showing up, you know, to, you know, to, to see Robert, because it's like, this guy's made, you know, $50 million in network marketing. He's built organizations of, you know, 750,000 plus people, maybe even more than that. I don't know the, the exact number these days, but, um, you know, this guy's a legend in the industry and he's going to be in that market, you know, talking about MDC and creating vision and, you know, helping you recruit your, your top, like if I was there, I'd be like finding every top leader, every influencer, every, like every person that I knew I would be dragging to that event to go meet Robert. So um, I just think it's, it's such a perfect time. I, again, we're so excited about where we're headed and um, I'll segue real quick, just outside of FFX. One of the beauties about MDC is we're a house of brands. So you have the ability to leverage all of the products in MDC. So even though Fuel Factor X is the hot product right now in Nigeria, you know, it may stay that way for a long time. I mean, I, I sold that product in, in Africa for six and a half years. Like that was our, that was our top selling product. But when fuel prices came down, it, it impacted our business. It hurt our business. So one of the beauties is if you, as a, as a builder, think strategy, right? If your strategy is like, of course, you've got FFX, you're going to keep pushing FFX, you know, you're going to create duplication. But if you, can, if you can also integrate some of the other digital products that are faster, more scalable, you know, and you can sell those all over Africa as well, not just Nigeria. You can take Akashics into, um, you know, into into Ghana, into Kenya, into South Africa. Like you can take some of the digital products all over Africa. So think of it that way. Like your strategy should be, you know, yeah, you could lead with FFX. You could do great with that product. But if you also start integrating some of the other products that are that are also higher volume, like you can, you can build a massive business right now in MDC. So um, I'm, I'm very excited. I can't wait to see, you know, what's going to come out of this market. It, it, it brings me chills because, you know, it's like every, life is, is a circle. Everything comes full circle. This is like, this was my gateway into network marketing, selling this product FFX in Africa is what made Josh Zweigel in network marketing. That's how I, all of my millions that I made as a distributor was from selling the fuel treatment in Africa. And, you know, um, nine years later from that experience, we brought that product back and now it's in the African markets again. So, um, you know, it's just, it's, it's crazy exciting and um, couldn't be more grateful to be here. I just want to wish you guys, you know, the most success Again, give us some time, have a little patience. You know, you guys are pioneers in a market. You know, this isn't, um, you know, it's not an overnight process to get everything set up. It takes a little time, but I want you guys to know that we are fully committed to the market. We had a team meeting about Nigeria yesterday to make sure we're ramping up with product availability. We don't want to stock out. We want to make sure we've we've got the, you know, the ball rolling. So again, thank you guys so much for having me on this call. Robert, I'll, I'll kick it over to you if you want to um, talk about, you know, um, you know, headed over there for a trip and, and anything you want to share. Well, a couple of quick questions I had for you, Josh, if you don't mind, I, 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 um, there, uh, Laura, Laura Empire, that's on here yesterday. She, she said something in the in the questions uh, called a stock list or something, and I didn't even know what that was. Uh, so, 
you know, they just wanted to hear from the 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 guy Josh Wagle and and I want every one of you to know that of course your confidence is going to be in what we're going to do. I booked my flight already. I'm going to be there. I leave on Monday, this Monday, and I will be there on the 25th. I found out I got to go get a a couple of shots <laughs> and do a visa. But, um, you know, I want to build really big events there for you guys and help you. So I don't know what a stock list is, but if you guys trusted Josh Wagle as much as I do, you know, I went to Budapest. I didn't know this, Josh, but um, Hungary and Romania are two of the uh, poorest countries in Europe. So I remember when John Haranzba first showed up there, he goes, why Budapest? And, you know, I guess I'm known in network marketing as the uh, you know, the people's champion. I, I love working with people no matter where they are. And I love the people in Nigeria and that's why I'm coming. But when I told you that I was going to Budapest, um, you guys will be blown away. Josh immediately, you know, reached out to a couple of the executives that he had that was in Taiwan. He forced them to fly directly from Taiwan directly <laughs> to Budapest. And now Budapest is the number two country out there. And, uh, and so Josh delivers. There's a lot of leaders out there that you guys are owners. I know have uh, uh, trusted and they've over promised and under delivered on you. Josh will not do that. He will not do that. He will, he will do what he can. So uh, if anyone had just any questions they wanted to drop in here for leadership. So Josh, can you explain? I don't, I don't know what a stock list is. I, I was telling Laura yesterday and I don't think she was happy with me. And I apologize to you, Laura. Uh, but I was telling her I'm, I, I made, you know, 58 million in this industry and I don't know what a stock list is. So, <laughs> yeah. So, so stock is, is, is a, um, it's a program where, you know, people pay for product up front to have, you know, basically a stock and then they're able to distribute the product um, from there. It's, it's popular. In Africa, it's popular in some Latin America markets. So we are certainly open to it. Um, we haven't introduced a program for that quite yet because we're just kind of getting our footing there with with getting product over there into into Africa. But um, but yeah, I mean we we're we're certainly open to to a stockist program. Do you have uh, some requirements? I know that. You know, when I, but when I did Budapest, I, I told him, I said, listen, if you guys hit 25K, I'm coming. And Joshua Daramello on here, uh, along with uh, Ada, uh, I know that you've, Chris told me, Chris Robinson told me that your confidence in Ada, that you've known her for over 12 years or something like that. Yeah, she was, we worked with her in our first uh, network marketing company. So um, yeah, she, she was, she, she's uh, incredible. She's working very hard. Um, so yeah, we'll, we'll come back to you guys with a, with a cool stockist program. Um, we need to, there's some things we have to figure out in order to be able to accommodate that, but we'll come back to you guys with, with an option and, um, yeah, I'll, I'll keep you guys informed ASAP on that. Cool. And I'm just glancing at the other, uh, uh, questions in here. I didn't see anything else. So again, Laura, I apologize for not addressing that yesterday because I didn't know what that was. And uh, but I just wanted Josh to share with you guys from him so you guys don't hear from me uh, that, hey, everything's going to be OK. So Josh is telling you everything's OK. Yes, for sure. Well, thank you guys so much again for having me and i um, very excited to, you know, blow up, uh, you know, Nigeria and and other parts of Africa and you guys are in great hands with with Robert and, and Chris and some of the other leaders uh, on this call. Thank you very much, Josh. We'll see you soon. Okay. Thank you, everybody. See you. Bye-bye. Yeah. <clears throat> so as you guys heard, I'm coming to Nigeria. And uh, I just uh, uh, not only booked my flight and, um, and got my hotel room, but I've shared this information with Ada. Uh, I personally wanted to be there for you know, at least uh, two weekends. I don't know when you guys plan your events. I don't know when you're doing your events, but the only reason that I'm coming to Nigeria is for you, is for you. I, I wanna meet each and every one of you uh, and, and help you in any way. Uh, my biggest claim to fame in this industry is I've helped 67 people make over a million dollars in commissions. 
And so I've done that all through Asia. I've done that all through Europe. I've done that all through South America and Mexico. I've never been to Africa. <laughs> and so I promise you, and please be patient with me too, uh, because I only know what I know, you know? So I was taught a certain way to do this business and that's the only way I know. So I know it works, you know? So when I came over to uh, MDC, we we hit uh, Super Affiliate, my wife and I in record time. And uh, we have already two people underneath us that are on the, the seven figure council that have already earned over a million in commissions. And uh, I know this is gonna sound crazy, you guys, uh, but, um, you know, I, I, I made Budapest uh, number two. They haven't beat United States yet. But right now in my group, Budapest is now above the United States as far as my production. And so I want to do that with, um, with Nigeria. I want to make Nigeria number one. I want to get the company's attention just like I've done for the last five years. Uh, Edwin, I don't know what a SUN certificate is. Uh, we'll figure that out. Uh, but I don't have any other things to say. I just wanted to tell you guys that I'm really super excited to come there and work with you guys. Uh, um, I promise you this one thing. You can't outwork me. You can't outwork me. And so I, you know, I was born, uh, you know, I, I, I grew up in foster home and orphanages. Um, you know, if I didn't find ways to do certain things, I would have been homeless. I don't have a family. Uh, you know, so I created one. And so, um, you know, I, I, I love people that have a heart to help other people. And I also love helping people in their mind, get rid of all the excuses that, that, that stops them from producing. There's a, a uh, I brought this up yesterday. There's a, a movie. Um, if you haven't seen it with Kevin Costner and it's called, you know, field of dreams. And, um, that is a lost principle in this world. I know people don't have trust and they don't believe, uh, but I'm making a sacrifice and, and uh, you know, like $14,000 for a, a plane ticket and a hotel room there for a couple of weeks. And so I'm believing in you. I'm believing in you. And so if uh, you'll allow me to lead you, I can guarantee you, um, I'll help you have a life that you've never had before. So uh, love and appreciate each and every one of you. I will send uh, uh, Joshua and the other leaders this video. Uh, for those of you that want to, want to show this to you, other leaders that are not 1K and above, I appreciate each and every one of you. Have a great, great, great day, great night, and um, see you real soon. See you next week. Bye for now.